And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzov Knights. That's right, we wanted to try out the Knight deck, see if we have enough stuff going on here with these Black White Knights. So we have some, some good additions here to our deck from Corset 2020 that have just came out. Probably our best one being Knight of the Ebon Legion. This card looks awesome, both for vampires and for knights. Uh, really, really sweet card here. <laughs> we are playing knights at night. That is true. Hey, what's up, J-Rock? New tie for me, resub for you. New expansion for the rest of us. There we go. Thanks, J-Rock. And new cat in stream, or in match for Hawkeye. Um... But yeah, whenever I was asking like what decks to, to put together for the next couple of days, this was a popular one that people wanted to see. Are knights viable now? So of course, this Knight of the Ebon Legion gives us a really, really good quality one drop. We could also play Dauntless Bodyguard if we want another one drop. I ended up I started with Dauntless Bodyguard in the deck, ended up getting rid of it though um, when I was making cuts. But that's another option for a one drop uh, for our deck. Um, Corpse Knight is of course a knight because you know that's the name of it um but this will help our opponent lose some life in here and then we also have cavalier of dawn that can come down destroy any non-land permanent in including planeswalkers including our own non-land permanents if we want if we want to like destroy our own history banali or something uh, but then yeah whenever it dies we do get to return our history like return a history banalia to our hand whenever it dies so that could be kind of cool there. Um, is this better than the Black Cavalier? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, maybe I should be doing one and one. Maybe we should just be doing that. Um, oh yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion with yeah with with Danto Vanguard is is really awesome. Yeah, maybe we should just be doing one and one with the Cavaliers. So I'd, I had Mortify that could destroy enchantments in here, but I guess we do have Dispark. And Othakaya does come back with... Cap like, Othakaya does work very well with the Cavalier of Dawn. I mean, I like Othakaya. Here. You know what? Let's, let's kind of split the difference. Let's play some one-offs. We'll play... I mean, there's there's kind of situations for all of these. So, yeah, let's just kind of sp split the difference. The other cool thing that I really like about this deck is we get the temples. So we're, we get to play the temples for the first time here. So we're going to be playing some Temple of Silences in here. With with having the temples and, you know, having 12 dual lands, it makes it so we get to have, like, these uh, all these different cost cards, like, pretty effectively. And we get to play three mobilized districts as well in here in our mana base so we can have some some creatures attacking from our mana base because I think our mana base is going to be just fine with having the 12 dual lands. So definitely excited about that um, over there. You know, sideboard wise, I have Wanderer for like the, the Gruul decks with the big creatures to be able to exile uh, some big creatures there. Gideon against the Esper decks, Kaya's Wrath against like the green mana creature decks that are going really big there. <clears throat> Noxious Grass does kind of everything, you know, against, you know, it's it's good against all sorts of decks, basically. So many decks are green or white, so got those in. We've talked about Legion's End before as well. Yeah, this could be a Blood for Bones deck, and honestly, maybe I should be higher on the Cavaliers and, like, less Sorin and maybe a little less Midnight Reaper and stuff. Maybe I should have more Cavaliers. I'm not exactly sure. We're kind of, kind of trying stuff out here. Um, yeah. But here we go. Let's let's get started. Let's play some knights. Kind of using the the black cavalier, cavalier of knights, as another removal spell. Also, let's see. Or Zav Knights right here. Oh, I gotta get some sleeves on this deck. 
We gotta get some sleeves up in here. I guess we'll go Liliana. Liliana likes returning creatures from the graveyard. Being a necromancer and everything. All right, let me update the decklist command for those two small changes we made. We're going one mortify. One Othakaya. And one Cavalier of Dawn. One Cavalier of Night that we're playing in our Knights deck at night. I know, those level 100 Chandra sleeves do look insane. Yeah, the, the Grixis list, yeah, you find it on the Stream Decker page. That's where you find all the lists. So, of course, Knight is going to make them lose life whenever we play these. I don't know if that's I don't honestly I don't know if that's better than just playing the the Knight of Grace that would have that would have first strike would have been a three two. Like, if I would have played Knight of Grace last time, I could have played... Yeah, you know, like, like, they can't really block. Ooh, still not blocking. All right, getting some counters. Getting some counters. Um... You... There's two tracks for, for leveling up in the mastery system. There's... The, the top track is a free track that you don't need to purchase anything for. Hmm. Do I want to kill this Paradise Druid? Is the main question. I think so. You get less rewards, of course, and then you can spend gems to be on the other track where you gain more rewards, basically. It seems fortune favors you. This Knight of the Ebon Legion is sweet. This card's good. Yeah, Grixis deck felt good. We, we played against four blue-red decks, though, and... Did very well in all of those matchups. Wherever I go, I leave bodies. So they're just dead. I think it's plus three, plus three. That's so much. They're just dead. So they went turn two Paradise Druid. Wait, were they behind a turn? No, I think they went just turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Vraska, turn four Vraska, right? Is that what they did and then they died? Or were they behind a turn? Yeah, yeah, I know it, it synergizes really well with the Dante Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, they are they are awesome together for sure. Hmm. 
I have a lot of good removal spells for this matchup, but... Do we want a deck that has so many removal spells, though? Like, how many removal spells do we actually want? Not the fastest hand, but, you know, we got some good interaction with the Obnoxious Grasp. That's probably what this quote is. The bog is obnoxious. That's what I should say. It's just obnoxious instead of hungry. I don't like how the white kitty is yellow. I wish that kitty was was actually white, not yellow. We got, you know, white, blue, black, red, green. No, don't have any unclaimed territories because unclaimed territories don't cast other spells besides knights otherwise they're just colorless with all these like like look at our hand unclaimed territory would be really bad with all of these cards we already have 12 duels yeah you just you just click on like the the little color things here and it changes the color of the cat Yeah, I'm playing four temples, of course. Temple is awesome. So keeping the Noxious Grass because it kills Planeswalkers, of course. I guess I guess I could have killed the druid to keep off Jade Light Mana, but we don't actually know if you know like we didn't know the last card in hand. Like they could have just had another green source and then my play would have looked pretty silly Nothing. at that point. So we didn't know everything there about their hand. Yeah, I've been enjoying the London Mulligan rule so far.
The last card's command. Wow. I know my responsibility. That was a really good mold of five. Opponent just crushed us. Am I supposed to be playing Kai's Wrath? I don't know. I'm going to kind of try out some some different stuff here. I don't think I really want these Cavaliers in this matchup. Destroying their creatures uh, later like that doesn't... And then, like, they bring them back. I don't know. I want to try, yeah, I want to try one of these Gideons on the play. You know, the Gideon can pressure their life total, hopefully. On the play, and maybe pair with Kaya's Wrath to do some good stuff. Temple's great. Didn't want to draw that Midnight Reaper next turn. I march into battle as your champion of just I will lend you my strength. Yeah. Knight of Ebony Legion is awesome. All guys here next to me. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Blair. My guess the day's your lucky surrender. day. All right, Gideon didn't work. Planeswalkers, just to answer my stuff so efficiently. Vraska minusing, it's a fairy minusing. I got this. Ugh, this is so annoying. It was probably going to die anyway. Just so efficient. Don't flatter yourself.
No, I don't have a cat it's castle for Hawkeye. Step out of the shadows. I've suffered worse. Let's try this. Midnight Reaper, of course, is just non-token creature, so it doesn't. So, like, playing Midnight Reaper to draw cards whenever these knights die isn't really a thing. Our kinship ensures our seeing yourself what I see in you. I like a Johnny so much more than Icon of Ancestry. It's only a matter of time. Ugh. Alright, I'd like a Legion's End. Or, you know, any of our removal spells would really do, though. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Sacking a land, huh? Strength is born of struggle. We're in a tough spot here. I've had some really good hands these like these last two games, even their their first game was a really good hand too. Our hand was just incredible. And so we just ran them over with the Knight of Ebon Legions. Our hands these last two games have been have been fine. They've been good. It was probably going to die Haven't anyway. been incredible though. They must have just a lot of lands in hand if they're willing to sacrifice lands. All right, no attacks. Look how far you have come. Like, do they only have lands in hand over there right now? Am 
minus one Midnight Reaper, Othakaya to Spark, three Icon. I honestly just don't think Icon is very good. I could be wrong on that, but I don't, yeah, I don't really want to take out just like, you know, we don't have a whole lot of interaction in the deck. I don't want to take out two interaction spells to put in the icons. So I have the mobilized district that I get to that I can animate right now. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. To be able to block. We will not fail. I will not back down. And that's why temples are good. Any normal land we would draw there would be would have been pretty bad. We would have had another land for a draw step next turn. No, I didn't have I did not have mana to activate Mobilize District and cast that thing. I cannot protect you anymore. I mean, I have to be pressuring them because anytime, like, whenever they find Command the Dreadhorde, the game's over. But I also can't really just let them sit here with these Planeswalkers either. So I just have to hope they don't draw Command the Dreadhorde, basically. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Well, I, I couldn't kill the land. The lands are colorless. This kills creatures or planeswalkers. I could have killed Nyssa. That was the thing I could have done was kill Nyssa with the Noxious Grasp. Thank you. Ah. Hmm. We still need you. Hmm. Yet yeah, didn't. Why are they not attacking with the branch walker? If that's their plan. Branch walker could have hit a Johnny for two. Why did... And then I. Wait. Why didn't they attack with the branch walker?
Yeah, I, I don't like Command the Dread Horde. I don't like... I just don't like cards like that, like Command the Dread Horde, Mass Manipulation, um, even how, like, Experimental Frenzy is and stuff. I don't like cards that, like, you're playing, like, this this long game, like, where you have all these, like, little decisions, and, you know, you're playing... You know, you're doing all these things, and then you just top deck, like, this spell that just makes ever like makes the last like 10 turns just not matter whatsoever and just you're just like oh hey cool look at this i win look at it i, I just get you know a 37 for one or whatever it's just i don't like cards that are that powerful um they can just completely win games on their own and make the whole rest of the game not matter like i don't really like that life waxes and wanes I think you will find my notes helpful. You see now now we just lose. Deliver us to victory. I mean I I like I don't know, I just prefer that the decisions that you make throughout the whole game matter a lot. And it just doesn't. It's just like, oh, hey, cool, we found Command the Dread Horde. You lose. Good job. Way to go. I don't, I don't think it really has that, I don't, like, it's not that, like, ex Explore leaving the format's not going to make Command the Dread Horde, um, it's not going to really change it too much, I mean, it's, it's played in, in Esper, you know, right now without, you know, Esper doesn't have the Explore package, of course, they play Command the Dread Horde, because they have enough life gain, all you need to do is just have life gain in your deck. And still, even if you're just getting back three Planeswalkers with Command the Dread Horde, it's, that still just wins the game. The storied past holds our future. I really hope to hope we top deck our Command the Dread Horde now. Dang. Since they did that. You are capable of more than you assume. When you know they could have definitely just gotten Liliana and all this other stuff and made me and Liliana made me sacrifice my creatures and they just played that ritual of set first. Seek and find. I mean, other people, other people like cards like that. Like, that's just my own opinion. I just, I really don't like cards like Command the Dread Horde, Mass Manipulation. That kind of stuff. You know, just ramp up to a whole bunch of mana and, oh, you, you played some cool stuff? Cool, I'll, I'll just steal your three things. You know, steal your Planeswalker and two creatures. Good game. Alright, good looking hand here. I guess we can just get rid of the Dispark and just try to curve out. You know, like, we're, we're on the play with Knight of the Ebon Legion. I don't think planar cleansing really solves the problem of command. Like if our if our opponent plays it correctly, at least it shouldn't. Cuz if our opponent there would play the command and then minus their Tamio and grab the command back so that even if we planar cleansing away stuff, then they just get it back. Or like you know, then they have the command back in their hand and do it again the next turn. Yeah, I mean that's that's all the that game was was just us playing, just hoping they don't draw Command the Dread Horde. That's that was the entire game. They drew Command the Dread Horde, we lost. I mean it, that does mean that maybe I should just have more Command the Dread Hordes in my sideboard for that matchup that you just try to command before they do. But that's it's the best hope. I 
I guess I'm supposed to attack first. That that's all right. So that's that's a mistake by me for just not playing knight too often. I'm supposed to attack first there. So that if they if they block, I can pump the knight. If they don't block, I play the midnight reaper. But they didn't block, so all good. Hey, pure poker. I like the London Mulligan roll. Yeah, it's it's been feeling good. I, I've been I've enjoyed it. Pump him up. You should be proud to have come. I will lend you my strength. Tulsimer. Good card, good card. Ouch. Capable of more than you assume. So if they chump block mobilized district, they wouldn't lose four life, and so my knights wouldn't get a counter. Do you like the mobilized districts in this deck? And the knights are awesome. Not completely sold on the Cavaliers yet. What do they have in their hand that they're just willing to pass turn? Is it just Frill Mystic? Look how far you have come. All right, it is the mystic. I mean, that they have to just double chump. Down to one. Yeah, this Cavalier isn't really looking in, looking any good here. It's possible it should be playing Oketra. Tulsimers can't even handle the one drops. Can't even handle the one drops. I don't know, like, the white cavalier could kill a Nyssa and give them a token. Hmm. 
I'm not, you know, completely sold on my Kai's Wrath side sideboard plan or, you know, basically my sideboard plan at all. I have like individually strong cards coming from the sideboard, but not really a plan. Temple is awesome, like always. Very good turn one play here. All right, so we can exile Land War Elf and all other Land War Elves and then reveal their hand and they exile all their Land War Elves. I hope they play three Land War Elves here. Hmm, Grow Spiral. Looks like I should have kept that to Spark. I mean, the Temple is good, but I think I... Looks like I made the wrong decision. Ooh, Noxious Scrapped is perfect. All right, perfect. All right, we don't have to worry about Anissa. We got the grasp for Anissa. Frilled Mystic, huh? I'm not going to just play into the Frilled Mystic. Legion's End is going to be for Krasis. That's what it's for. So we know they have a Frilled Mystic. Or at least pretty sure. Now we can kind of find out. Ooh, Knight. Wow, what a great draw step that Knight was. All right, got any more Krasis's over there? Double Frilled Mystic. And they're dead. Sideboard cards coming through clutch. The very nice Noxious Grasp and Legion's Ed. Legion's End. Legion's End doesn't do anything against Phoenix. It's CMC 2 or less. That's why it works very well against the Krasis. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played the new Soren yet, to be honest, but I think it's going to be really good. Like the Vampire deck. It, it looks to be really, really strong in the Vampire deck. So should I be attacking with the Mobilized District over holding up Pump on... Knight of the Ebon Legion. 
I don't know. What? They're just blocking there? All right. So, yeah, like, the knight was a lethal attacker on its own. You know, it was a 10-10. And so they definitely had to block the 10-10, of course. If I if I activated the other the land and attacked out, they you know they have to block with everything. They go down to one. I guess that's what I should have done. Or no, did I have one more attacker than what I thought? I I counted as them going to one with having the two unblocked creatures. Would I have had three unblocked creatures? Yeah, I guess I had. Yeah, I guess I would have had three unblocked creatures. Oh, yeah, so it was actually just lethal. Yeah. Yeah, I think you probably want Soren over Immortal Sun for that deck. Soren's definitely really good in the vampire deck. Soren's the real deal. Man, temples are great. A Temple of Silence. Alright, well we know we're playing against the red deck, so is this card good against red? Yes it is. We will keep it, thank you. I mean, the Skylands are good. This is like where you can where you could say that the Skylands are awkward, how we're not going to have the three mana for history next turn. Yeah, I mean, this is game one right now, so it's not like I brought in to spark against Mono Red, but I, I'm i not uh, upset that, that the sparks in our hand because, you know, our opponent just has a couple of cards left. Like, a Frenzy would be devastating, but it doesn't look like they even have a third land, though. I like Knight. So let's see, next turn. I was gonna say like next turn I was gonna go Knight and History. And what am I what am I ever playing this thing? I'm gonna go like Knight and History, then I'm gonna go Soren. No, I'm never playing that thing.
It is good to see you, my friend. I don't think my opponent's gonna be able to kill me from six here. Now they have like double wizard's lightning. You know, then I'll feel silly. But this, you know, playing the Ajani here means the the Vyashino Pyromancer doesn't get to trade with any of my creatures. And since they don't get to trade with any of my creatures, then they're very dead. Deliver us to victory. Right, the old gain sixteen. Your, feast, your blood is mine. All right, Dawnbringer, Dawnbringer, Wanderer, Legions, and. Taking out the Reaper. Hmm. I guess maybe I don't. Maybe I don't play Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, we'll play one. Gideon could do some okay life gain for us of like, you know. If we're behind, especially being on the draw here, they have like two creatures, we have none, we play a Gideon, you know, they'll just be able to attack the Gideon and kill it. Um, they could also just probably ignore the Gideon, though. Gideon, of course, can give other creatures lifelink, but that means we have to have like creature survive and then Gideon give it lifelink after like the creature survive and one to attack and everything. It's... Those are the kind of games that we're probably winning anyway, not, not games that we're losing. Liking this London Mulligan rule. Hmm. This knight's just always awesome. Nah, let's just touch it though. Thanks, Yud. All right, Storm, have a good night. Gideon is for Esper control. They struggle with that card a little bit. Not really ideal here, but we are getting rid of some monkeys. It's not, you know, the the best Kaya's Wrath. Ooh, Kaya's Wrath has a new animation. Enjoy yourself 
and live like a my friend is here to help your pain. I don't think I like the warden of Evo Isle. No, I don't I don't like that one. There's, um, like the new blue spirit that's, you know, one mana, one, one, with like flash and fly, you know, flash flying. I don't know if it does anything else. I think it may just be that. I guess we're really determining how we want to curve here. I mean, I, I could get rid of a land, but I guess we could just get rid of a land. Yeah, I guess so. I'll just get rid of the Godless Shrine. Uh, with us playing the temple on turn one, we'd be shocking in the Godless Shrine later. Hmm. Kind of wish I would have kept the land now. Of course, we didn't know we would be drawing. But, you know, two more spells like this. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be playing a vampire deck, Rex. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, that's for control. I've got it. Exiling a night token. So do I want a history or double spell? I think I'm going to double spell. I don't imagine that they have Kaya's Wrath set up for next turn if they're using a Contempt like that. Hey, what's up, feature? Thanks for that resub there. Lucky number seven for the months. Sub number 24 on the day. So we just got the sword in play. We've already seen them use two contempts. They can't have very many more contempts. You show remorse. I'll show the I've got time. 
So the Azcanta is about to flip. Mm, maybe that should be Midnight Reaper here. Alright, so they've taken two. I really should have seen that coming. What a mess. So that's taking four, so the knight will get a counter. Yeah, probably should have played Midnight Reaper here. Over history. I, I want to get you know, like history's better to play first and then play Midnight Reaper next turn if possible. But if there's a Wrath here, I'll feel bad. They haven't had Wrath so far though. They do have the Ascant activation first or Narset minus first. Meditate and prepare. Uh, this is Black White Knights instead of Vampires. All right, they got a Contempt. That's fine. Yeah, look at how good this Temple is for a land. I guess we could have played Knight of Grace if it wasn't. But yeah, get that Scry to the bottom. Motion. All right, they're digging for the Kaya's Wrath, which they already minused the Narset last time. So, like by now, they've they're getting into a lot of their deck. Yeah, they hit. Oh right, I'm not even going to be drawing them any cards because the Narset. Oh no. Oh, I should have killed the Narset. I definitely could have. Yeah, we only get to draw the one card from, from Reaper. I, w I was just thinking, oh, I'm not drawing multiple cards a turn. Why do I need to kill this Narset? I'll just deal two to it. While I play my Midnight Reaper. That's smart. Ascanta is so busted. Just tutor for Kaya's Wrath every turn. Or now you don't need Kaya's Wrath, just tutor for Teferi. Now you just have Teferi. Alright. Well, Teferi and Ascanta bury us from there. Alright, Gideon. Come on in, a Noxious Grasp, get on in here. Elder Spell, Command. Let's get rid of the Mortify, the Cast Downs, the Othakaya. And Cavalier of Night. Yeah, blame it on the new cards, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. It's definitely new cards. Um, what else do we want to take out of here? Let's go two Noxious Grasp. I don't know. I don't know if I. I just don't know if this Cavalier of Dawn really fits in my deck. I I do have Gideons in the sideboard. We brought him in, Karmic. Gideons are in the deck. All right. Hopefully, we find a two drop with this Temple. Uh, not the two drop I want. Yeah, I boarded them in already.
Please, no little Teferi. RX Jelly, getting that new tie badge. Thanks, RX Jelly. Thanks for the resub. Number 25. Sorry I'm late. That's more I'm not like sorry it. you're late. I'll protect you. Is art creepy? That's yeah, a little creepy. Ah, should have played. Should have played Mobilize District. No friend of mine fights alone. will lend you my strength. No, I am not making this up as I go. Farewell. Just let me know if you're up for round two. Yeah, servers are back up. Everything there. Hey, Casey. Thanks. I train every day. Yeah, they got a lot no of cards in hand. I have just the trick for this. Narset lets him gain two life. It's probably worth it gaining two life to put these cards I in my hand. My limit. Need to draw some spells. Like, I don't know, a spell. So I didn't, I didn't activate the uh, mobilized district there. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. We will meet again. Because of the uh, Rass's contempt. Hold that thought. Grace has been pretty nice here, dodging the black removal spells. It's certainly possible they have like cast down in hand as well. There's, there's not a core set twenty meta right now. It's day one. There's, there's not a meta game after day one. For the most part, people are playing, you know, decks from the previous format for the most part. Because, again, it's. It's day one of it being on Arena.
I guess I'll let them gain the life to not to be able to activate Narset again. Jasper has just so much life gain. That card's good. I wish you all not good. Short lives. <clears throat> it's possible they contempt one of these things. I guess I should try to bait out the contempt, so I guess I should be activating the mobilized district pre combat here. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. That is so much worse for me. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you. Uh, that's so much worse for me. I didn't use the contempt. Here we go. Uh, no idea if black white knights is better than black white aristocrats. Don't, no Not idea. Again. Come on, knight. That's more like it. Dang. Knight can't quite finish the job. I have no time for Come a on, break. draw Johnny. Uh Johnny. Uh Johnny. Uh Johnny. Dang. The the Grixis deck felt the deck felt really good. I have home your it um we didn't we didn't have the hardest competition to be honest, but it felt very good. Dang! Eventually, you just ran out of stuff. Open mind. Against Esper. Just eventually run out of stuff. All right, so they just put a counter spell in their hand. They put a clear the mind in their hand. Ugh. Why can't these be temples? Maybe they don't have a. Counterspell. All right, so we went two and two. Not bad for first try here with the night deck. I had some tough competition with this league. A lot, a lot tougher competition than the Grixis control had. To be honest, the Soltai deck had awesome, awesome draws like the whole time. 
And then, yeah, we played against Esper, and it was tough. All those rats. Um, so the Cavaliers... Hey, hey, Mort, GG's. The Cavaliers just... They they honestly just didn't really seem like anything I really wanted. You know, I sideboarded them out all the time. Like, this other stuff was was pretty nice. Like, the night... This night is awesome. The Ajani's were really, really good. Um, fortunately, the Gideons weren't as as useful from the sideboard as I was hoping they would be. It could be that we just want more Ajani, more Soren. Like, you know, another one of each of those instead of these Cavaliers, to be honest. These didn't did not seem too useful at the five mana cost. If you really want the ancestry thing, oh yeah, I forgot I forgot about yeah. There we go, icon of ancestry. Yeah, I didn't really think about unbreakable formation. It could be a card, but. Having that counter Kaya's Wrath is pretty tough to do. But it, it's just a decent card anyway. So if you really want an Icon of Ancestry in this deck, I think over the Cavaliers is where it could go. So like, how many actual Knights do we have in here? If we, if we cut the Cavaliers, it would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So 20 total. So it would be like, look at the top three cards of your library and... If you hit one of the 20, you get to draw it. That's just not going to happen. Like, you're going to hit, like, 50% of the time, maybe, maybe less. Nah, probably about 50% of the time. So it's just, like, half of the... So ha it's it's three mana Anthem, and then half of the time you draw a card, but then you're but then that's, like, in the late game where you're drawing a, a two mana 2-2. Two -two. Meh. I'd rather just be playing a Planeswalker, honestly. Yeah, the Planeswalkers are awesome. It did. It did feel like maybe we want more Command the Dread Horde. You know, like can you? You know, like imagine us drawing Command the Dread Horde, like that. That other game. That's that's the card that seemed like maybe we want more of is Command the Dread Horde. Um. Yeah, I guess we could try Benelish Marshall. I mean, triple white immediately. You know, like curving with like Knight and Benelish Marshall's tough, but we could try it. Even if, you know, you play Benelish Marshall on like turn four, turn five. I, d I don't know if Benelish is, is better than, what is it, Valiant Knight? Honestly, I think I'd probably rather have Valiant Knight than Benelish Marshall because it's just a lot easier to cast and it also has that ability to give him double strike. Like I don't think I would mind. Like I don't think I wouldn't mind a couple of Valiant Knights maybe over these Cavaliers. Valiant Knight's decent. This is an M19 card? Huh. I don't think... I don't know. Like, is... I don't think we... Realist, I guess we could realistically cast Liliana's. We're a 25 land deck, and we have the Midnight Reapers that draw extra cards. Maybe we just play two Liliana's. I don't really want Kaya. Could have Ugin, I suppose. I 
Moo was okay. We only played against like spell heavy decks, so I sideboarded out Moo like all the time. Moo Yanling. She was okay. Yeah, we could just be playing Gideon's. Um, our three mana slot. I don't know. I like I like a Johnny and Soren a whole lot. But yeah, maybe we just move these Gideons to the main deck. And then that moving those to the main deck allows us to play extra Command the Dread Horde in those Command the Dread Horde matchups. And it's a good chance that we should just be playing Duress. Duress just kind of awesome. Kai's Wrath. I don't know. Wasn't super impressed with it. Wanderers for like the Gruel matchup. We didn't face that. Um, Noxious Grasps were good. These sideboard cards were good. Basically, the main thing Wanderers for is Rekindling Phoenix. That's kind of the main thing Wanderers for. Hey, Tobias Funk, thank you so much. Apostle of Purifying Light. Hmm. This doesn't really help against Mono Red. You thought it was pro red? Okay, yeah. It's pro black. So basically, I need to trim two sideboard slots still. It's probably two of like these legions and noxious grass, grass elder spell. I guess, I guess maybe just two command the dread hordes. These cards were pretty sweet though. So maybe something like that. Maybe add in a couple of duresses. Trim those Cavaliers for the Gideons. Um, I could see just not playing Gideon and playing four Johnny and three Soren, to be honest. A Johnny and Soren were awesome. They are they are just really good. Yeah, Wanderer could be replaced by Binding, yeah. Yeah. Binding's good. If you don't want to play Wanderer, you can play Binding. It's a good card. Absolutely. I mean, could just play Brass's Contempt also. You know, not sure about like these main deck removal spells, and like like that's kind of the hard, the hard part is like figuring out which removal spells we want in the main. You know, having like six slots for removal spells, I think, is pretty good. I think that's a pretty good number. But I don't know exactly which which six. There's so many options in black and white. So, you know, because you can even just be going baffling and Vras's contempt as we had had their Ixalan's binding. Like, there's just so many different options in like black and white of like what six removal spells to actually play. So I'm not. I mean that that looks about as good. Othakai isn't as good without the Cavalier, though. Like, without the Cavalier, we probably just want the other Mortify in here. But this is a pretty sweet-looking deck. Like, the, dis the Mobilized Districts are really good. 
we got some good stuff. Like that's the thing. Like these removal spells are awesome. Like sideboard wise, it's possible we can just maybe fit fit an elder spell in the main, like over a Dispark, and that gets you another duress in. It's like is elder spell really that bad against anybody? It's like probably not. I guess we already do have Dispark for Phoenix anyway. I guess Dispark is pretty good against. We'll play that instead of Binding over here. Maybe, maybe we just. I guess just keep it the same then. Dispark's already good against Phoenix. We already have something for Phoenix with the Disparks. So we just get that extra duress in there. All right, that looks like a, a pretty decent little update there. Um, all right. So there we go, Orzhov Knights. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there if you did. Um, but that's it here for Orzhov Knights. Uh, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a lot longer stream where we're going to keep on playing new stuff here with Corset 2020 and keep exploring, see what we find out there. So thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you for another video.